actually your legs and hole so you'll be sick in a bit. But I'm here and that's the main thing because Saturdays are very important. You get to get a boost at the end of your week and if the weather permits you get to check over your machine and have it ready for Monday. But today uh, I don't know what is going to be done or not done because we do have G&G's Christmas party. We like to have it nice and early because we'd be very busy at Christmas. There's something about going out and eating and drinking all night for free that just gives me a warm, fuzzy, tingly feeling on my ball sack. Greg loves his Saturdays too. Look how happy he is. Oh, oh drive into me way, sure. Oh, why not? Why fucking not? Oh, fucking dickhead. Oh, it is all going on. Look at that ass. Oh, yeah. Big Greg. Big fucking arms on. Big Gary. Not giving a shy. And poor me. Heading in for brash, no less. Brash! Cheers, my hair. I think I'll just wait here for Greg to cut this tree. Because it could fall back on me. It's way too big for that machine. But Greg doesn't give a shy. I like Greg. No fucking bother to him. I have enough of it now. That's the harsh reality. I am sick of it now. I want to go home. I'm not going to do anything with the machine because it's pissing rain outside. I can't go and them cunts are still here. Because I want to get that. A bonus. And to get a bonus, you have to put in the effort. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! There's little bro. Snaking down off the hill. There's Greg, right at the top of the hill. Oh look, a little bit of butt raw. Oh Greg, do you see the butt raw? Do you fucking see it, Greg? No, he didn't see it. Because if he did see it, he wouldn't be cutting a fucking full length off it. My Jesus Christ almighty. Look, pulp. I'm gonna have a, a Barack boost because I, I need that little kick in the bollocks. That's fucking right. I never go anywhere without my plastic fine and dory cup. I robbed it off Lily about four or five years ago. And she ain't never getting it back. You never know when you might want an impromptu tea, coffee or glass of water or whatever it's just fierce awkward porn shit into the palms of your fucking hands <laughs> There's Gareth. Gareth's as excited as me for the party tonight, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, is that a long one? Where? Oh. Um. Cheers, God. You know what? I work so fast, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> hey, I'll see you tonight. Good luck. See you, Gareth. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> no, I'm only messing. I love him. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh Jesus, me 20 inch R6 Alice that I don't fucking have are going to be all dirty and mucky and out of balance. Oh for fuck's sake! Martin, there's Martin, my fifth best friend. Yeah. There's Greg. You did drop the ranks, didn't you? Do you know why he dropped the ranks? For being a fucking prick. <laughs> for noticing that the cows are shocking and horny. Did you ever see such horny cows, Vicky? Look at my beautiful wife. Give me a kiss. He loves me. Martin is raging because he's my fifth best friend. And now I have my first best friend, my new first best friend. The boys are destroying the neon. Garrett's in bad form, isn't he? Garrett. Angela. Shauna. Where? Where are you? Greg, he's massive arms. Mark, my first best friend. <laughs> Fifth. <laughs> I better get the program. 
Oh, that's true, Shabba. I think he's a fool about the wine drank, Greg. You know what that means? Tonight's Thursday night again. You should be asleep every night. There'll be no sleep. Smiling. Oh, loves him. Did you ever stop? Wind. Why are you looking for lads? Funny. When do you want it? No. You're not getting it off me. You have a small cock anyway. On the whole. That's not nice. You didn't say that when I was driving it up here a whole last night. Do you see him? Hey, man down. Oh, where's Gareth? Gareth's gone home. Oh, go away. Put the light with a drink. It's light we go out one night a year to school fucking pints. Yeah. We're after losing Vicky, yeah. Angela, and Gareth. Yeah. yeah. There's just the hardcore lads left. They're light with Light yeah. with Fucking judge me. Don't look at me with them condescending eyes. What stories were you told? <sighs> Vicky was tired and she wanted to go home and she said, David, go home, you're gonna be sick in the morning and I just didn't listen and I stayed out. I don't know what way that's gonna go down. I'll, I'll tell you fairly quick in the morning. <sighs> fucking taxis. Fucking hate them. You know, you can't be drinking and driving, lads. Don't be drinking and driving. <laughs>